This is Z from Simple Baruk and long time no see. First of all, I'm here to announce that we are back. The Simple Baruk is back. I have been busy with my own personal thing like getting married and stuff. And I also ran into some other things that I wasn't able to keep doing this Simple Baruk thing for a while. I was trying to turn Simple Baruk into something that I can do full time, but I met some obstacles along the way. Like for example, my old career. I have been dealing with getting married and wrapping up my old career. So I, I think I'm almost done with that so I can come back and focus on Simple Baruk. A few months ago, we released something called San Lese, the three star opener. It's a full lecture on how to deal with and how to use this three star opener. I was trying to do this opener series where I share everything I know and everything you should know about an opener like San Lensei, Chinese opener, mini Chinese opener, and Kobayashi. But the thing is, I was debating should I continue this because filming a lecture on such a complex, not even a complex subject, it's a, it has so many variations and so many things to take care of. So filming a video for that, it's a huge pain in the ass. So I was debating if I should do that or not. While debating, I also tried to make something shorter, much shorter than that, but also much more efficient in improving your Go skills, which is called mini lecture series. Things like San Lensei and mini Chinese opener, Chinese opener, I cannot finish it within like an hour it's gonna turn into a full hardcore lecture. Even if I try to minimize, not even minimize, try to shorten the duration of each lecture, it's not gonna be an easy thing to digest. Which is why I am starting something called mini lecture series. Each lecture is gonna be less than an hour long. I'm trying to control it to 30 minutes to 40 minutes, somewhere along that. And I'm trying to make it as essential as possible. In mini lecture series, I also got a lot of things covered like how to deal with thickness or how to use thickness and also how to choose joseki, how to play mid game, how to play end game. All these essential elements of Go will be covered in mini lecture series and these are not going to be hardcore lectures for like four or five done players. It's going to be a easy guideline, a something something very light for Q players and lower down players to watch because in Go, at least before about 3 done on OGS, as long as you know a little bit of here and there, you should be good enough. You don't have to go too deep into any of the subjects. All you gotta know is just some basic things. As amateur players, we don't really need to be expert at all the kinds of subjects. For example, we don't have to know the difference between 0.25 points and 0.5 points when we're playing late games, like end games, right? All we need to know are some basic things of everything. As long as you have some basic knowledge of everything, then you should be a very solid down player. With the essential josekis and with the silent say, I realized these subjects are a little bit too hardcore to digest for most people because we are trying to play Go for fun. We are learning Go for fun. We're not trying to be professional players, right? With that in mind, I designed this mini lecture series course. And the first lecture for this mini lecture series is gonna be on estimations and it's called Estimations Made Easy. It's about 40 minutes long. It's gonna teach you five different kinds of estimation method. Estimation Made Easy is a course on estimation, of course. And you don't have to be good at counting. You don't have to be fast at counting in order to estimate your games. In this lecture, I have shared a few ways of estimating a game without counting any of the intersections especially something called Li Cheng Ho method, you only have to memorize a few things, then you should be able to count like a solid dumb player. 
Other than that, I have also shared some estimation method that can be used by double digit Q players and single digit Q players. Those are slightly easier than Li Chen Ho method. So until you get those uh, basics down, you can use those easier method and transition to Li Chen Ho method. If you are a higher than player, or if you are just someone who has a lot of ambition, then I have also shared how professional players estimate their games when they're playing blitz games. When you're playing blitz games, you only have like 10 seconds per move. Then how are you gonna estimate the game? That I have shared in the lecture. If you're interested in estimating a game for both players within 10 seconds, you should also check that out. All right, that's it for this video. And I will be back on regularly uploading schedule. Uh, if you have certain types of videos that you like to see from me, then please leave some comments so I know what to film. Also, and before we end this video, this time the mini lecture series, it's on estimation and the next one is going to be on thickness because that is two of the most urgent things that I want to share with you guys. And I have a lot of topics that I would like to cover, but if you have any suggestions, also let me know in the comment section. And that's it for today's video. See you soon.